the Lord for His disposal? Is this something that you're willing to do? Or you answer? I'm going to give you guys a multiple choice. Letter A. You fully understand and you fully commit and you take a vow before God, saying, God, the lower up is yours. This is a gift from above that we just want to say, God, take her back. We want you closest to her. We want to put her beside you. This is our desire, Lord, that she grow up to know her God, to be commanded by your words, to love her God with all her heart, her mind, her soul, her strength. This is what we want for our Lord. This is our desire. And for us to do that, we have to dedicate ourselves, Lord. Here today, we also take vow to dedicate our lives, to commit our lives in raising up and training up this child through your word, by your word, to live a godly life so my daughter can, raise, can see and be trained to live a godly life herself. She will know of your words, she will speak of your words because the parents will also. Here's a question once again. Jen and Lloyd, do you guys understand what it takes to dedicate this baby Alora back to the Lord? Second question, do you wish to continue and proceed with this baby dedication? Letter A, you're going to say yes and yes. Letter B, you're going to say yes. But no, I don't want to continue because this is going to take too much work. Now, we have two choices also. You could call a friend or we could take a 50-50 and eliminate some of your choices. What will it be, church? What will it be, Lloyd? Have you guys decided? You guys want to talk it out? Are you guys okay? You decided. What's your answer? Letter A, yes, we're committing to dedicate a Laura, and yes, we are committed also before God in the presence of God to grow in the knowledge of His Word, to walk a, a holy and righteous life before our Lord, to teach and train up our child to be a godly child. Final answer. Hallelujah. All right, thank you. And then may I call on the... God parents, can you guys stand beside me? No, you guys stay here. Is it okay? Do you need a chair? No. You need a chair, Jen? Sure. Can I have the God parents just beside them? Hello. 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 Godparents, I know you guys are holding up the candles. Um, and so the, the, the candle represents the light of Christ. Okay, um, it's like a guiding light. And but you know, as, as for the godparents, I also want to ask you guys before you guys light it up. I want to ask you guys: Do you also take um, commit yourselves and, and, and bow before God? And you guys will help out, um, Lori and Jen. Laura, you know, they took an oath today, a vow today, and um, you as godparents are now accountable for them that you will help them fulfill this promise in raising up this child. Now, you guys will check up on it. The first thing also, you guys will pray for them, maybe on a daily basis. Check up on them. And make sure that they're walking godly. They're, they're, they're training up their child. They're, they're, they're um, um, you know, if, if we miss them on a church, Sunday, we're going to call them and say, hey, are you guys okay? You know, you guys have a responsibility as God-parents in making sure that we cover them with prayer, that we also cover them with help. Also, uh, Christmas time, Aguinaldo, it's so nice, right? Have a lot of God-parents, you guys will have uh, a lot of Aguinaldos, which is like, you know, gifts, right? So, um, those are something that you, as God-parents, have to take vow before God and say, God, I need to help this couple raise 
up this uh, baby Elora. Train her up uh, 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 and show her also through your lives how you guys live as, uh, as godly children of God. She will know and see that, that you guys are of God. And then this candle, when we light it up, guys, uh, it represents a guiding light, which is Christ in you. So if you guys light it up, This candle represents you guys being the light in um, Lloyd and Jen and Laura's life. That this is your vow that you take. And you guys, I just want to ask this question once again. Do you guys commit to help out, pray for, and, and, and devote yourself and commit yourself to helping Jen and Lloyd and Laura in raising up Laura to be uh, somebody that will know her God and love her God? Is that something that you guys commit to? Yes. Yes? All right. And as you blow this candle, even though the, the light is, is diminished, this light remains in your heart. It's a lifelong commitment that you guys will know Lloyd and, and, and Jen for the rest of your lives, caring uh, for their, their, their um, well-being through prayers, through even financially someday, and also loving Alora. If something were to happen to a Laura or to, to the, the parents, you know, the godparents usually would pick up, right? And this is a big commitment. So even though you, you blow this candle, this candle will be lit in your heart for a lifelong commitment, amen? So you guys may now blow out the candle. And then now for the church. For the church, it takes a... Word. It takes a, a village. A village. <laughs> Thank you. I it takes a village to raise up a child. So as a church, we are here in the presence where they want to commit their child before God. They take a vow a vow before God. As a church, we ought to be praying for these couples, praying for Laura on a daily basis. And then they're accountable to us also that they are doing what they are to be doing. We need to help them also in fulfilling this promise and hope before God. And that's what we're called for as a church. Do you guys commit? Yes? yes. So we all agree. Amen. So now, uh, for the uh, uh, Godparents, I want you guys to lay hands on, on Lloyd because this is your first act of praying for them. But let's face the, the cross, guys. We're going to face the cross in a minute here. We're going to lay hands, and then you guys will get to pray for our Laura, Lloyd, and Jen. And then church, may we extend your hands to this family. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name above all names, in the names which all of our tongues confess. You are Lord, King of King, and Lord of Lord. We come in the name of our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for our glorious occasion, Lord. We thank you for the dedication of Alora. Lord, may she be trained to know your ways and your precepts, Lord God, that she, her steps will be commanded by your words. Lord, I thank you, God, that, that she has parents like Lloyd and Jen who takes a vow and an oath to commit themselves, to paristimate themselves, to put themselves next to the Lord where they will have deep and, 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 and intimacy and fellowship where God himself, through your word, through your Holy Spirit. We thank you for their, their dedication and commitment, Lord God, to train up this child by your word. Lord, I thank you for their love between one another, Lord God, that, that resounds in, in raising up their children, Lord God. Lord, thank you that you've raised them up. You will raise them up to be godly men and women, that they will have godly children, that will penetrate this world, Lord God. I thank you for the God, parents, Lord, that this light shines in them, this guiding light, that will help them out, Lord God. It's, it's, it's a difficult task, but Lord, I thank you for the accountability that they put themselves before the God, parents. Lord, allow the God, parents, to get this seriousness of how they need help in prayers and being lifted up. 
being called upon and saying, hey, brother, how are you? Hey, sister, how are you? How's my goddaughter? How is she doing? And I, I pray, Lord God, that every godparent that stands here before you, God, will live godly lives so their granddaughter, goddaughter, will see them living and see them, see in them the living God. Lord, I thank you for the church that commits here today to pray for on a daily basis, lifting up this couple, this family, to grow in the knowledge of you, to grow in your presence, God, to be worshipers in prayers. Lord, I thank you for their lives. I thank you, Lord God, for your glorious occasion that you've given us here today. And may all the things that have been said and done here today, Lord God, is because we want to be all about.